I wanted to record this very, very important video, something very, very disturbing that was unfolded to me through various channels of children uploading videos to YouTube. Now, I'm not saying by any means that children should not be able to upload videos to YouTube. I think that's fine. The problem is the people watching and the absence of parents doing anything about it. And I think that's the most disturbing part. I think when these children are uploading the videos, it's for other parents and other kids to see, and I think that's quite obvious, and I think anybody with any kind of sensibility would understand that. Some of these videos, um, I really kind of even want to put a filter on and kind of blur them, them out because some of them get quite suggestive at times, and this is only a small few videos that uh, were kind of pointed out to me by a particular subscriber of mine. He brought to my attention um, a large amount of pedophiles. Well, I mean, we know that there's pedophiles on the YouTube platform, but uh, pedophiles congregating around these channels that are being broadcast by kids. I believe he said uh, most of them are uploaded in other countries like um, let me, let me let me pull this up here. Um, uh, Eastern Europe, Russia, Arabic, and Asian countries, although there are some um, American and European countries where this is happening. And I, I feel like this is a very, very important issue, and I think that parents need to be brought to the attention of it. I think parents... Anybody you know that's a parent that has a kid that uploads videos onto YouTube needs to be made aware of this, of these types of videos. But you have things like um, my night routine, um, Q&As, question and answers, uh, truth or dare things, um, shower time, night routine, um, Watch me do the splits. Look, look at these things that I can do now, and it—that—that's all well and good. That you know, I, I have no problem with these kids doing that. But you go into some of these comments here, and um, you know, like this Mario TV, the kids' channel. Like, I, I. I'm not sh so sure about that, so like, let's uh, let's look at this link in a, in a new tab. Silence. So, yoga challenge for kids. This seems to be a, a pretty appropriate type channel. But uh, some of the other comments are not as benign. So, in this video, she's showing her shower routine, and you already got somebody that's kind of talking about um, the problem here. I feel like my eyes need to be bleached after viewing this. Oh god, she showed part of her naked. And, um... I don't, I don't, I don't... Why are you so glittery? Now, keep in mind, some of these accounts are coming across like they're other kids, but 
quite in fact, um, they're not kids. This is. Okay, that's a kid. Um, some of these are not. And come to this channel, this is it. There's nothing else about it, just this one video. So... And it, it goes on like, I don't even want to, um, I would not even want to show this one. Steven Reed, you are a very sweet little girl for your age. Sim loves Hala. Oh man. And see that this this I think is just where you've got some yeah. There, there's nothing here. There's no about. There's no information about this person whatsoever. And you know they're, they're they're talking about how they they like the show. Um, let, let's see this Stephen Reed. You're very sweet. You you are a very sweet girl for your age. And again, no, no information whatsoever. Nothing. Well, that seems pretty benign. Tim's world. Love this video. You're super cute and super funny. I definitely subbed. Okay, there, there's parts of this video where you can almost see down the girl's dress. And again, no information about this user. Tim's world, you know, I mean, I'm just saying this is kind of suspicious. Great accent. Um... I really hope that's not what I think it is. I would like if you reply to me. This is not a kid. Not a kid, and you know, talking about liking it if you they would reply. Talking about pedophilia and wanting a pedophile to die on a little girl's channel, it's pretty fucked up. Pretty fucked up. And there, there's tons of this. And um, there's even this one. Again, I'm not going to even show the video on here. Um, you, you know, this is benign. I love your room. Awesome. Your room wows me. Sweetie, it's called the chest roll, not face roll. Um cool uh, skills and then you have things like this nice skills you are a good beginner you are so cute I can do both of my legs over my neck shoulders Then there's this 
<clears throat> funny unicorns. I can do all those because I'm a con um, contortionist. Can you do the swallow? I can. That seems kind of weird. Let's look at their stuff. Um... Again, not not much here to even show this person's age, how old they are. Um, bunch of video game stuff. It could relatively be benign, but um, the comment itself is pretty fucked up. It seems to be that there's this one YouTuber right here, Dr. Purple, with only 71 subscribers. And he's got this hashtag going on, um... Dr. Purple Private Investigations. He's got hashtag YouTube Wake Up. And... He is joining the fight against the exploitation of children on multi-million dollar social platforms. They all must be held responsible for allowing this on their platform. So far, they have refused any response. So far, they haven't taken any action against these countless accounts. It's time to wake them up. Taking a critical look at what's going on on YouTube and gathering exposure videos on the pedophile problem that's going on in my playlist. This is a work in progress and I would love to receive some feedback. Feel free to drop a message or other links in the discussion. I have already reached out to him and I've already even seen his videos. Child exploitation live chat. And literally you've got live sessions of this guy he, he's showing you the live stream of pedophiles um, pretty much attacking children and asking them to do things it's fucked up it's real fucked up But this is only a small portion of these channels of children uploading videos and pedophiles commenting on things in the comments section. Um, I did see on Dr. Purple's channel, um, let me go back here, he had somebody in... The girl who was talking of quitting YouTube because of Sil Tob was told by me 
you have it in your playlist. I actually spoke with her mother right after that. This girl had actually made Siltob her moderator on her channel. It freaked me out. We have a small group of people who have been fright uh, fighting this for over two years now. I am just happy to see other people finally getting involved and change is slowly happening. Still much work to do. So, um, it's good that they're trying to get the parents involved in their YouTube channel and I would encourage any parent that has a child uploading stuff to YouTube to be that child's moderator. Please. You don't know how quickly this can escalate and I have a bad feeling it would escalate rather quickly. So... Take that all in. Again, here's Dr. Purple. And try and get in touch with him. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Um, it's hard for me to say like because this is pretty tragic, eye opening experience to know or understand that there's um, con child content creators out there, you know, making videos for other kids, and pedophiles are going on trying to get them to play Truth or Dare. And trying to get them to expose themselves. And possibly even engaging in private chats. And there was even a channel that um, it's quite possible that the child involved is being coerced by parents. Or an adult figure of some kind to do things in front of the cam camera that are questionable. And um, you, you have an onslaught, freedom of pedophiles commenting in the comments section. So tell me what you think in the comments section below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell button on any channel you're subscribed to. And with that, you know, this is a very dreary one. But